right, today we're coming from the secret subterranean project of Inspire EV. And we also have the shrine to the motorcycle rides. So as we go into the room, the project room, we're gonna show you what we've got. A couple of disappointments, but a lot of good progress that we made this week. Okay, the project table. First disappointment is the cable. Got the cable from Whitech, and I was looking for two watt cable. They sent me a six gauge. Um, two watt, uh, two under zero, negative two, whatever you want to call it. It is double insulated, it is orange, but there's no way I'm going to get 355 volts running through this without melting all the insulation off. So that was the first disappointment. Second disappointment is we go over here to the 3D printer and I've got my tablet case that I've been building. Uh, a little disappointed, the words lettering didn't all come out. And you flip it over, uh, it clearly miscalculated on the, uh, the size that we need to hold the tablet. It's, it's way too tall. So first prototype, and we will uh, create a second prototype as we go through it and, and build another one. And our tablet will sit in there and we'll mount it inside the dash. And um, the good news though, is the success on hooking up the ODB2, putting the ODB2 plug, avail making it available for the Orion BMS, connecting up the transponder to do the readings and sending them to the tablet. And I'll walk you through that. Okay, I've set the tablet up with a couple of displays. I'm going to look at the RPMs as we go through it because we're going to run a test on an already running car. We're not going to hook it up to the Orion BMS. We're only going to plug this into a car, let it transmit the signal to the tablet, and we'll verify that it works. All right. Our second location today is the secret garage of Inspire EV. We're going to unwrap this car and plug our ODB2 into it and get some readings. All right, the car's unwrapped. We're going to call around on the other side and get in and plug it in. So this is the fun part. Gotta watch your head. Oh, 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 almost there. Oh, okay. I think we got it. All right, so getting inside the car, you locate the ODB2 port, which is up under the dash and right here. First step, plug in ODB2. Get a red light, means you've got a connection. You start the tablet, get the torque software running. We're only gonna, we're not gonna do the speedometers, we're gonna do the revs. Next thing, start the car. Step on the brake. Tablet stabilized. There we go. That is how simple it is. We've got the tablet pulling the numbers from the ODB2, are roughly matching the meter in the car itself. got a readout on what's going on. We're going to put this in a Mustang Tesla conversion and we will have our display 
ready to go. Okay, so we have saved some money because we got a tablet for about $130. We've got the reader for 20 bucks. We got the plug for about seven bucks. And now we can connect all of it together and have a display for the car. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, cost effective. Talk to you soon. And subscribe and like us below. Thank you.